So the 2023 Parade of Homes here in Utah Valley starts this coming week. And today I'm in front of this beautiful custom home here in Provo. And I wanna give a shout out to Rusty Bouchard, the listing agent, as well as the builder, J. Lynn Roberts and Sons. And today we're gonna to give you a full tour of this property and show you all of its features. And I hope you enjoy. Now, one of my favorite things that they've done on the exterior of the home is they've really taken advantage of this more traditional look in brick, but they've used a more long format brick and they've straight stacked it. So it gives it a much more contemporary look. And that combined with this vertical synthetic black siding, it looks really, really great together. Now the backside of this home faces to the north. And as you can tell up above, right off of the master suite, the bedroom and the bathroom, there's a big deck. Who knows what you wanna do up there, but there's plenty of space to do anything you'd ever want to. And down below, there's a patio area that you have a gas grill hook up here as well, but you have plenty of space in the back of this home to entertain, but also to enjoy. Welcome back guys. It's that time of year again. It's the 2023 Parade of Homes here in Utah Valley. And this is my favorite Parade of Homes to visit because you get to see the best homes in Utah being built each and every year. And today I've got a really cool home to show you built by JL Roberts and Sons here in Provo. And this thing's amazing. So this home is located in Provo, just at the foothills of Mount Timpanogos and has just under 8,000 square feet. So one of my favorite things to do when I tour these beautiful custom homes is to show the, the best features of the homes and the things that make these homes a little bit different. And this particular home has some really cool features that I'm going to point out. And I hope that you appreciate them as much as I do. So let's get started and go check this thing out. So right when you enter this beautiful home, you're greeted through this massive 800 pound pivot door. Let me show you how this thing works. So these doors are not hinged along this side of the door like most doors are. Rather, they're pivoted or hinged at the base and at the top right here. So when you open the door, this is how it works. And that makes for a really cool entry. This great room is amazing. It's got beautiful floor to ceiling windows. It's got tons of height in the ceiling here, as you can see. It leads straight into the kitchen, which we're going to check out here in just a moment. And right behind me here, you can see this beautiful staircase leading upstairs, as well as another staircase going downstairs. It's also got this really cool floating hearth right below this linear fireplace. This thing's six feet wide with a nice space for a television up above, flanked by windows on either side. Okay, so I wanna point out a couple of details in this house that you don't see in every single house. This particular house has white oak engineered floors, as you see here but they've also added these really nice hidden vents everywhere throughout the house so that you don't have to see a traditional heat vent or register all over the floor. Now, another detail that this house has that most homes do not is this really cool baseboard. This baseboard has been milled for this home. It's custom. And I love that little simple detail that it adds. It's kind of a modern look and I love it. And another detail that you don't see in most homes is you'll notice around every single door in this house, there's no door casing. So this baseboard comes all the way to the edge where the door comes and right up this wall, you see that there's no casing. In fact, the drywall is finished off with a perfect edge all the way around the door. And this is on both sides of the door on every door throughout this house. And this is the look that they were going for to give it a really simplistic design. Now it's June in Utah and most of the snow is melted off the mountains at the lower elevations, but up in the higher elevations, as you can see here, Mount Tipanogos is still covered in snow and there's nothing better than seeing that green lush mountain capped with white snow on top. Now taking a look at the staircase, they've got some really nice white oak finishes throughout white oak stairs as well with a metal baluster system. But you'll notice here, one of my favorite things about this staircase is how this particular staircase is kind of looks like it's almost floating. 
And it's the way that they've designed and engineered their st this staircase to be supported, and it really sets this staircase apart. Also, once you get up to this landing at the middle of the staircase, the landing doesn't go all the way to the wall. And what they've done here is they've allowed for space for these floor to ceiling windows to go here. And they've simply finished it off with this railing so that you can still take advantage of those floor to ceiling windows. All right, let's go check out the kitchen next. Here in the kitchen, you'll notice there's a dining space right off to the side. It's quite large. It looks a little bit small based on the perspective when you're looking at the entire kitchen because the kitchen is so large. But this dining space is awesome and it's got a really unique light fixture up here. It's a metal shield looking thing with a light that has some up lighting that goes up to it. I'm sure that looks really cool at night. The first thing, however, that sticks out when you walk into this kitchen is this massive setup with two gigantic islands. Now, this particular island here is the functional island of the kitchen, and this island over here is designed for seating on both sides. So in essence, if you have a big party here, you have not only a dining table off to my left, but you have this massive seating area where you could probably place 10 to 12 people right here on this island, in addition to the other island. Okay, another thing I wanna point out, this kitchen is a fully custom kitchen. All of the cabinets, everything is fully custom. The first thing that sticks out to me is there are no doors. There's no cabinet doors, they're all drawers. So as you look around, all you see is drawers. That is a really cool look. And it really sets this kitchen apart because it makes everything more functional, but it's definitely more custom as well. And on the back side of this island, you'll notice there's a void underneath. This void or this space is designed for a robot vacuum to slide under and hide when not in use. And you'll notice on this back wall of the kitchen where you see the range, it has all of these cabinets going all the way down to the countertop to keep the clutter out of the kitchen. These are all designed to hide your small appliances, your toasters, your mixers, whatever you want to put in here. The next thing I want to point out is this massive 60 inch wolf range. This is literally twice as big as almost anybody else's range. You'll notice there's four burners off to the left, two more off to the right, and here in the center, you have a multi-functional space here where you can grill. And I think my kid's favorite part about this range is this button that you push and you can open up the panel for your controls. Now moving on over here, we have the refrigerator. It's a sub-zero, it's built into the wall. You'll notice four drawers and those are freezer drawers down below with the refrigerators up above. And with these four drawers for the freezer and these two massive refrigerators here, I can't imagine you don't have enough space for everything a family would ever need. And this kitchen sink, of course, is placed perfectly right here against these windows, where you can then, again, take advantage of that beautiful view of Mount Tipinogos. Now, in this kitchen, of course, you've got a garbage disposal, and I love it when they place that control for the garbage disposal right here in the countertop. Now, moving on from the kitchen, we have a nice butler pantry here. There's, of course, another sink, a beautiful backsplash, a really cool feature with that light right there. But one of the coolest things in here is hidden inside of these cabinets, you'll notice small appliance storage down below where you can simply prop it up and you can have your mixer plugged in, ready to go, or your blender, or whatever the case may be, and it's ready to roll. And this, I know everyone's going to ask, is where the microwave is placed as well. And a custom kitchen would not be complete without, of course, an ice maker. And just behind this butler pantry is the pantry itself. Here's one section of the pantry here and the remaining section back here. And continuing through this other section of the kitchen leads right to the back door where it enters into the garage. You'll notice the garage is finished with epoxy floors. It's well lit because of course it has gigantic windows as well. And here we have a two car garage on this side linked to another two car garage on the other. And I really like it when I go into custom homes where they've actually put thought into finishing the garage. You'll notice there's laundry hookups back here in the garage as well. But more importantly, they finished the garage. They actually trimmed it out with white trim everywhere. They finished it off and painted it, made it look beautiful. And they've even added a hot and cold spigot out here. And just right next to this mudroom, you'll see the half bath 
It's finished with beautiful dark finishes, giving this kind of a contrasting feel to the rest of that open space. They've got a nice floating vanity here. It's custom with nothing, of course, but drawers and a really cool plumbing fixture that comes out of the wall. And this really crazy mirror, it's custom. As you can tell, who knows what shape that is, but I really like that. One other detail that I've noticed in this house throughout is instead of doing circular recessed lights, all of the recessed lights in this house are square. Now, right back here behind the kitchen is what I would like to call a flex room. This room is actually designed to have all sorts of different functions in mind. They've got a setup where it's got a nice desk or homework area. They've got a nice whiteboard on the wall with some lights up above. And they've also got some really beautiful built-ins along this wall with a TV. But my favorite part is it actually has an exterior door that leads right outside next to the garage. So for me personally, this would make an incredibly amazing home office where it's kind of separated from the rest of the house and I have my own entrance. So for me personally, I would probably use this space as my home office with my own separate entrance. Okay, that's everything on the main floor. Let's go check out the upstairs. Okay, now that we're upstairs, the first thing I notice is this carpet. This carpet probably doesn't show up on camera as being anything special, but this is 100% wool carpet. And if you've ever purchased wool, wool carpet, you know, because it's really expensive, but it also feels amazing under your feet. And as soon as we get upstairs, you can see right off the front entry here, there's a room. We have so many bedrooms in this house. Every single room is flooded with natural light. And all but one bedroom has a really nice size walk-in closet. And this bedroom has a nice Jack and Jill bathroom, which shares with the adjacent bedroom off to the other side. Now in these bathrooms, they've added some cool features. You'll look at this vanity here and you'll notice there's no cabinet doors. They're just drawers. And they've built those drawers around the plumbing fixtures to make this space completely functional. And there's a little Easter egg down here below. They've actually got a little slide out stool here that slides out of the toe kick. And that's so kids have something to stand on and reach the sink. I really love this bathroom, how they didn't just end the tile in the tub surround. They actually extended it all the way across the wall. That is just something I can truly appreciate. Now, another thing I really appreciate is when each of the bathrooms has their own little style. They've got their own tile selections. They've picked out different fixtures, different things in each and every bathroom just to kind of make them unique. I really appreciate that. In this bathroom in particular, I love how this darker island contrasts against this really fun tile floor. And again, down here in the toe kick, there's another stool for kids. I love it. And right through this door, right behind this section of the bathroom, you'll see this gigantic shower. And of course, this shower is big enough for at least a couple of kids. And again, they didn't end the tile right here at the edge of the glass where normally a tile shower would end. They ran that tile all the way across the wall and into the other room of the bathroom. I absolutely love that. All right, so let's go check out the best bedroom in this house. It's the master, of course. They've positioned this master bedroom in this house purposefully to take advantage of these views right outside of the master of this beautiful mountain. That's Mount Tipinogos. And it's of course, Captain Snow at this time of year. And wow, what an amazing view. Now this bedroom looks pretty simple on camera. And of course it is. However, it's absolutely massive. This is a king size bed and there is so much space in here. You could absolutely do anything you'd want to do with furniture in this large of a master bedroom. And as you can see, the master bedroom leads right off onto this covered deck and it goes across this side of the house as well as over onto this side of the house. What better way to spend your evenings taking advantage of those beautiful views and right off of this master bedroom, you'll see right here in this space, a really cool built in bench. Again, taking advantage of these beautiful windows and of course that view. And right behind this is the walk-in closet. This walk-in closet has an island in the center, tons of storage for clothes. And in this island down below, you'll notice these little pullouts. This is where your clothes hampers go. And there's a couple of those. There's one here and there's another one here. 
It is open to the space that leads out into the master bedroom, but of course that will force you to keep a really nice closet, keep it organized. But I really love how that lets this natural light flood into this space because normally closets are pretty dark and dreary. Now it's on to one of my favorite parts of this house and it's the master bathroom. They've done a phenomenal job with their selections in here. You'll notice this beautiful stone that they've installed everywhere throughout this bathroom. It's not just on the floors or the walls of the shower, it's absolutely everywhere. So it, although it might feel a little echoey in here, this bathroom feels like a spa. In fact, they've even used that very stone to frame out this custom mirror all the way around this gigantic double vanity. And again, just like every other part of this house, the vanities and the cabinetry are built with drawers in mind. And these drawers are notched out, as you can see right here. And they've gotten creative with the faces of these drawers, as you can see, to help cover the pipes, the plumbing pipes. But I just love how seamless and continuous this looks with nothing but drawers down below. anybody thinking about using this beautiful tub with this amazing plumbing fixture. I think the best part of this bathroom is the views right outside of this window and again out these other windows on the other side. This master shower of course has two shower heads, plenty of controls for everybody. And this shower just screams luxury. My favorite part, obviously there's a nice bench off to the side here. But my favorite part is this linear drain system. These linear drains just give this shower a really cool feel. And that allows you to put this large format tile right here on the shower floor and make it look like it's part of the rest of the bathroom as you can see here. And off to this side here, you'll find the water closet. Okay, and right where you exit this master bedroom, off to the right, you'll find the main laundry room. In this laundry room, you'll see not one, but two washers and dryers. This particular one's missing at the moment, but there's room here for two washers and two dryers with a very nice sink in between and plenty of storage and cabinetry, as well as drying racks on the other side. This laundry room is phenomenal. Okay, so that's everything upstairs. Let's go check out the basement level. I hope you guys are enjoying this tour. Leave me a comment down below if you think of anything that you see that you want me to explain or point things out to me that you want me to show next time. Okay, we've got one level left. I'm right here in the basement. As you can see behind me, there's the stairs. I just came downstairs. If you like these types of tours, please like and subscribe, but also leave me a comment. I'd love to hear what you want me to show you and what you want me to expand upon because I love this stuff. Okay, as you can see here, coming down the staircase, you come down and it opens up into this large family room space. There's plenty of space here for seating. There's tons of space over here for a pool table or a game table or whatever you'd ever want to put down into this large space. And it's pre-wired for surround sound as, as well as other things, but it's got a nice feeling down here. It's really big and open. And off to the right here, you'll notice a little play area under the stairs. They've got a nice little mailbox here and a really cool little fun door. And that leads into this space underneath the stairs where of course they have all the space to play, fully equipped with a slide and all. And of course that slide comes up to a little loft area inside this space. How much fun would that be for the kids? But the best part about this basement is this really cool cannon bazooka style gun, fully equipped with a basket full of balls. And this thing overlooks a basketball court right through this plexiglass to shoot your enemies, to shoot your friends, and maybe even your family at times if you're mad enough. But how cool is that? And just off of the staircase, there's another set of stairs that goes down to that lowest level. Now this level where this basketball court is, is actually underneath the garage. And underneath the garage here, they've built this beautiful basketball court. It's really echoey in here, of course, because it's nothing but concrete. But they've done a really nice job finishing it off with epoxy floors. And it is a conditioned space, so you see vents and returns right here in the wall, so you can actually be comfortable down here. It's actually really cool. Okay, coming back upstairs to the basement, the main basement, right here behind the family room is another bedroom. Now off to this side of the staircase, we have a hallway that leads to a utility and storage room, as well as a really nice bathroom with a full shower, a beautiful floating vanity, 
And again, my favorite, they finished off the entire bathroom walls with tile. I absolutely love that. And back here, there's another bedroom with a built-in bench with storage. And this bedroom is a little on the large side. This is a queen size bed, but you could easily fit a king size bed in here along with other furniture. And here in the walk-in closet, but you've also got hookups for a stackable laundry, a washer and dryer right here. Now, moving on to this part of the basement on the other side of this family room, and it leads into this beautiful exercise room. And it's got a set of double barn doors here. These barn doors open up onto a, an unfinished space, which is the other garage. In other words, it's the space underneath the other garage. The other section is eaten up by that basketball court that you saw. Now, probably the best part about this room is the autographed sports memorabilia. Now, obviously this person is definitely a big USC fan. And off to this side over here, I'm not sure how Tom Brady fits into this, but I totally respect the fact that he's got a Tom Brady jersey here as well. Okay, so that completes the tour for today, guys. I hope you really enjoyed. If you're interested in this property or any other for that matter, you can find my contact information down below. And until the next video, thanks.